Africa, my Africa. Africa are proud, proud people in modern savannas. I am Brother Chuck Davis. I'm the artistic director of the African American Dance Ensemble. We are based in Durham, North Carolina. From Durham, we travel all over the world and we travel sharing the message of peace, love, and respect for everyone. And it's really easy because we are involved in the most dynamic art form in the entire universe, that of the world of the dance. African dance is the heart. African dance is the feet. African dance is the whole body and the spirit. African dance is community. It's the place where I feel the most comfortable out of any dances or any dance styles that I'm doing. So, because it's so voluminous out here, we need to be far, far down stage. How are we going to do what? We can angle it, we can go down and pick, actually, let's go down and pick a point at which we then angle it. Mac is the point, because he's already here. Okay. And so what he's going to do when he finishes his point, he's going to pick that clap up and take off. Okay. As everybody hit right there, take the clap and go up. Yes, yeah. people used to That's always fine. say whenever they call us or whenever they're dancing, they say, Chuck, where are the two sisters? And they say, I, B, and V. It's like, oh, yeah, we always come out together. We usually, like, right in, if you see me on one side or you hear this hollow in the, holler in the video, you hear a, <laughs> That's V. <me. laughs> So when I hear that sound, I know it's time for me to take up my notch in dancing because I'm ready, you know, it gets into my body, into my being. And African dance, for me, it is my being. It's my sun when I'm sad, it energizes me. It's my rain when I'm feeling down or even when I'm up, you know, just ecstatic. It calms me down, it brings me back to that calm place on earth. And it just, it's infectious, as she said. It makes you reach out for things you've never known. It helps you to try new things. Um, if you are stuck, in yourself, African dance has a way of bringing it out. Mm -hmm. It helps you to reconnect with your heritage, also to reconnect with others. And I think it's a part of life that brings us all together, black, white, red, mm -hmm. blue, or green. We can all connect some way with African dance, and that's why I'm here. I would say it's a way of life, really. I would say it's really a way of life because it teaches you to respect other people and the different cultures. You know, it is definitely a way of life. And what we have to remember is that she affects me. Whether I want her to or not, she affects me. And when we're on stage, we affect all these people that are watching. So if I'm out there and I got an attitude, then they're not gonna respond to that. But if I go out there and I say, good morning, <laughs> then they're gonna say, good morning, you know? So it's, like I, like I said before, it's infectious and it's a way of life. And it helps you with all of the things that are going on in the world today, even with our young kids. You know, we need something to uplift us. And what a way to do it. Everything is all about the community coming together to pay homage to the elders, to pay homage to that omnipotent force that each person believes in, and to understand the role of the arts in our society 
is the roll of cartwheels that comes in to the community, reaches out to the fourth and fifth graders, engulfs them and brings them to the heart. From the center of the earth comes art and art ends in heart. Think about it. I'm Brother Chuck and it has been a pleasure to share with you this, you know, this day.